aren't many other film festivals where a hat, scarf and gloves are regulation attire, even on the red carpet. But that's part of the charm of Sundance. Each and every January, Utah's Park City Mountain Resort is invaded by movie makers, movie stars and movie wannabes. And it's all thanks to this man. Welcome to uh, all of our guests, our attendees, uh, merchants, agents, ambush marketers. Um, but a special welcome to the filmmakers, because that's why we're here and, and what we're about. Robert Redford helped to get the ball rolling on the indie event way back in 1978. This year in Bruges is the first flick being championed, and the feature's big heartthrob Colin Farrell no doubt helped the large turnout, which even saw Mary Kate Olsen. Directed by playwright Martin McDonough, in Bruges is a dark comedy about a couple of gangsters who are sent on holiday to Belgium. I had a great time. It was a really pure experience, man. It really was. It was a bunch of us just getting together for all the right reasons to tell a story that was more than worthy. I mean, Martin's just such a wonderful writer. Such a wonderful writer. Ah, oh, so he was, so he was. And after several attempts at adopting an American accent on screen, the Irishman is finally going back to his roots. It's all windy stairs. I'm not being funny. What exactly are you trying to say? What exactly am I trying to say? These are a bunch of elephants. Fight you. Come on, leave it, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> 